Hi everyone, so more Raquel Welch hair came. This is a hair topper, and um, <laughs> I'm, I'm liking it, but I'm still trying to figure out how to work the front of it. Uh, I'll have to show you really quick. So I, I just put this barrette here because I didn't know what else to do. Because um, my, my hair color doesn't quite match this, but I thought, well, maybe I could try that. So this thing just pops on. I'll take it off in a little bit so you can see. But uh, so this is our Raquel Welch hair topper, and I do uh, I do like this color. And yes, I do like this. I'm the hair topper. The cool thing about that, it's not a full wig. So you just literally you still leave your hair down. See, all my hair is down here, and it kind of blends in with your own hair. But I'm gonna, you'll see how thin it is in the back. Here's here's the side. Here's the back. It's a little thin, right? Um, and you can you can bring it up closer in the front, or you can have it a little back further. But kind of what I did was I put it just right on the crown. I didn't pin down all the pins because I'm going to take this off and show you what this looks like. But I love it because I'm always trying to press down the other wigs, and this one is always nice and flat. And because it's a topper, it's meant to blend in with your hair, which makes me feel like, okay, I don't have a total wig on. It's just like a little extra. And then I thought, well, with the front, I could maybe just take this and twist it and, and take some of this hair and blend it in a little bit and then have a little barrette in. So let's do that now so I can keep, I have to go this way. Okay. Um, and then I just love this one because when I said it feels really nice to have um, hair, I <laughs> well, you have hair on this, the length is really nice. And you know whose hair is so beautiful and I've always admired her hair is Jennifer Aniston. Um, I believe she's about 50 years old or so. And I just feel like she has the most beautiful hair and this is giving me, the hair is giving me Jennifer Aniston vibes. Um, the color and how it lays, and I just feel like, oh, I'm really lucky that I can kind of try that out. Um, and I'll experiment maybe with bringing it more forward because she always has hers in a, such a nice little curtain. It looks so nice. So very lightweight, very comfortable. If you're nervous about buying a topper, again, because I did it first, I, I'm trying it out. Oh, yes, I think it's a go. I don't think you'll be upset about it because, and then if you don't like how it hangs down, you know, look, you could still do this and then you'd have to fix this in the front a little bit, maybe to match your own hair. I mean, if you have this hair color, but you know, you could do a little ponytail or bring it to the side and, and do a little braid. Um, I'm just really, really having fun and, um, and it, it really kind of settles itself. Like if I want to make it look a little bit more wild as, as I talk it kind of smooths out on its own um, I forget the name of this hair we'll look underneath in a second it's it's a it, some type of realistic feeling hair it does it feels like real hair this is not I don't think this is real hair I'll have to look at the label um, so yeah this is the Raquel Welch uh, hair topper and I am pretty happy with it okay so are we ready to see what this looks like when I take it off okay here we go Let's uh, get the get the barrette off. And it's just little clips this time, just so if it's super windy, it doesn't blow right off your head, right? So let's just take this off. Huh. Right? Woohoo. Okay, so let's see what the inside says. Oh, true to life hair. It's heat friendly synthetic hair. Look at that color. Is that not if you know who Jennifer Aniston is, does that not look like Jennifer Aniston's color? I just think it's so beautiful. And it's, it's a blend of um, some different blondes and a little bit of brown in there. And I wanna say the name of this one uh, was like a, it was like a cappuccino. Let's see if there's a, a number in here. Raquel Welch, um, RL1425SS. I don't know if that's that number or the person that inspected this. Now here's your options with this. Again, oh, let's look on the inside. So look at, super breathable. You can see it's so see-through. So, ooh, it's not as hot as a wig. So this feels really nice. And to put it on, you can just decide, like, do you wanna have it back on the crown? Here, 
You could even kind of angle it to the side, but I'm gonna go in the middle. Do you want it further back or do you wanna move it forward? Let's try to move it forward for a second and see what happens. And I'm gonna clip the clips down this time because when it's more forward, it, it's kind of a little bit more poofy. Okay, what do we think about it when it's more forward? Can I hide my hair under there maybe a little bit? I don't know, I don't think that looks as good, but let's let this sit for a second while we're talking. Well, I don't know, I guess maybe. I kind of like it when it's a little bit moved back because I feel like this is too much in my face now and that would drive me crazy. So let us move this back where I kind of had it. That feels more natural and you can feel it like there's a clip on the back. Let's, I'm gonna put all the clips in this time just to, again, they kind of clip in like a barrette. And okay, so that's back on the crown as you can see here and here's to the side. And I gotta do my barrette trick right now because again, my hair's not totally matching. So again, I'm gonna take some of this. Let's put this back up again real quick. Okay, so um, yes, I say, okay, topper was a good idea. And it was not cheap. Like I'm loving my cheap $20 Amazon wigs, but this was not that. This one, um, I'm trying to remember what I paid for it. I wanna say uh, it was close to $200, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna wear the heck out of this thing. And very, I think it's very worth it. And I think when my hair's up like this, I know it's not an exact match, but oh well, I like it. It's, it's okay with me. I don't care. I'm gonna wear it. Um, so there's that. There's my. Oh, I wanted to say too. Um, when I talk about, uh, a lot of people are asking about eye gel and and all that. Uh, Another thing I do when I don't have time and, and if I'm getting ready to see patients or I'm getting ready for this video, um, I have a little bougie product to show you. It's the Chanel Hydro Beauty Serum. So what I do with this one, if I'm in a, if, if, if I'm in a hurry, because this works 100% of the time, if it's been a long day, it's the end of the day and I wanna refresh my makeup, I just take a little drop, little drop, and I'm gonna come in close now, okay? So, and then I'll put it right here and so again, when I don't have time to do my unique things with lipstick or other skin softeners, I will literally take this Chanel. A little goes a long way, so that, that bottle's gonna last me a long, a long time. And you just pat it, just pat it in. And then it's like, whew, instant, a little bit more glowy, your concealer and foundation all just kind of melt together. If you are sensitive to smell though, this is probably not for you. I think this has a beautiful smell. If they had a cologne uh, that smelled like this, I would buy it in a second. So if anyone knows if Chanel makes the cologne that smells like this, uh, let me know down below because I think it's a beautiful smell. It almost is reminiscent of an orchid um, with a hint of, um, like a very tiny hint of vanilla and even some bergamot in there. I don't know, I'm no perfume perfumist or um, but anyway, it's the uh, Hydra Beauty Micro Serum by Chanel. Again, love it, look at that. It just it just smooths up right in here, this little crepey area. And um, it dries really quick. You can even kind of put it here to smooth out those little lines. And sometimes I'll even put it above here, like if I'm starting to get lines throughout the day, which can happen. Um, so that's another little hack besides uh, the Tarte eye gel I like to put on over my makeup. This can go right over it. Um, oh, and a word about can I just say a word about if you're sensitive to scents? It may be that um, your liver is a little overloaded. So there is a condition, um, and I wanna talk about this because I just did another video about getting tested for um, prediabetes and diabetes and how important that is for our hair health. Because if you have thin hair like me, I actually have blood sugar issues. That is part of my problem. But what can also uh, happen um, that can throw blood sugar off is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Um, that's when you are having trouble regulating blood sugar, but um, the uh, triglycerides, the fat you're eating is getting stored in your liver um, that leads to infl inflammation. And as the liver accumulates fat and gets uh, fattier, it's more difficult to break down other toxins and food that you take in or that you're surrounded with. 
and people with sense sensitivity tend to have an overloaded liver and I'm just bringing that up in case you haven't had your triglycerides tested or your liver enzymes tested um, so again if you have questions about that I am planning on doing a live chat uh, Friday evenings it's either going to be 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. depending on um, my, I mean, quite frankly, my schedule, but I'll put out a video to announce that before it happens, and then I'm happy to answer questions. Again, I'm not going to be practicing medicine on YouTube, but I'm happy to educate and answer questions. So, um, anyway, so that was just a quick note about the hair topper, Raquel Welch. I'm a fan. I love it. Worth the money. Uh, this is definitely a go. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.